All right, guys, we are jumping into 2023 with this game, Track Day R. Now, this was not the video I had planned for 2023, but we have something pretty sweet to show you. You probably saw it in the title. Maybe that's why you clicked on it. This is the Deacon Compound by SRC. This is awesome. So we start with the motocross track here. There is a supercross track, which was... Um, Pretty difficult. It was pretty difficult for me. I'm not great at the game. We're okay, but I'm not the best. And that was really fun, but it was pretty tough. But even the motocross track here, you know, I probably burned maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 laps on the track. It was really fun. Really big floaty jumps. But the hardest part for me about this track was probably just having your timing down. Um, I use the 254 stroke here in my opinion. That's the best bike in the game It's the most balanced bike in the game and it works so good This track I don't know if he made this track or they made this track for the 250 or 450 But it works out perfect for the 250 you have to be on the gas Really have to stretch the bike sometimes but not all the time and The 450 I feel like first of all, it's harder to use that bike second of all. I felt like I would have been over jumping a bunch of stuff and you just have to be more careful it is a bit more difficult to use but the 250 just hammer down hammer down and you're probably pretty good um, and not like you have to have insane corner speed because my corner speed obviously isn't that great I kind of get a little bit off and get out of the rut or the burn but yeah really really fun kind of difficult um, you know the whipping and scrubbing in the game like this double before the double into the corner that was really easy to over jump and then this kind of double hip uh, I mean, I guess it's not really a hip but it kind of turns away from you that one was really easy to over jump but for the most part it was just like full throttle g you know give it everything it's got and you should be good so yeah the motocross track super fun super well done and it's brand new. I mean, it just came out. This bad boy released on December 31st. And yeah, so the last day of the year. This was kind of a, a gift from the creator to the Track Day R community going into 2023. And this is a great way to kick off the new year in the game. So I'm going to say it because we say it every video. And I, I said I'll say it every video. This is a great game. It's a really great game. I think it has a good balance between... You know mx bikes mx simulator but in between mx versus atv or even a milestone game you can make it as difficult as you want for yourself with taking off the assists and you know the helping stuff or make it easy and you can still have fun the third person is better it isn't my favorite i've seen some of you guys say you know adjust the camera and whatnot but i just i'm a third person guy but i prefer first person it's really really good in this game so again don't sleep on it this is a great game the mod community is um it's not huge but there's a bunch of stuff out there there's a bunch of fun stuff out there there was other tracks there's different bikes there's even uh rider gear skins and whatnot so there is a bunch of stuff it is growing but you know give it time i don't know how many people are specifically modding the game but yeah there is a decent amount of choice and and whatnot here we switch over to the supercross track this track was pretty difficult so this line i only get it for you one time where we triple through it it was pretty difficult probably upshift from second to third through it to make it easier but really difficult most of the time we i found myself doubling through it plus i was trying to put together you know a halfway decent lap but in my opinion this is the best way to hit the the track uh maybe not the fastest but the most consistent now there is two different ways through these two back-to-back -back rhythm sections and i do show you we even get a full lap doing it but pretty difficult pretty easy to over jump into the corners but the track what made it so difficult was not because it was easy to over jump i feel like most of the tracks in this game it's pretty easy to over jump stuff especially with the 450 but with the 250 and on this track the track was made really 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 good but it feels like sometimes the jumps to get onto the tabletops were too small but they're not they're just right i just wasn't hitting them the way you should be hitting them but i mean the creator of the track really thought it out and it works really good multiple line choice just pretty difficult 
the jumps are pretty peaked and really kick you up in the air and, and whatnot. Now here we hit this section with a triple, triple, double. And then that that really isn't that bad. Hit that in third and you should be fine. You can even over jump a bit. This is tough because that jump to step onto the table made it pretty difficult. You had to just, it was really easy to not get the lift to, to get to the top of that table. So um, that's probably what made it really difficult, but I appreciate the line choice and the lines are all satisfying and fun and the track is challenging, but I probably had more fun. The motocross track, in my opinion, probably is the better track, but I had more fun on the supercross track here because of the challenge, or blah, 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 because of how challenging, challenging it is and how satisfying it is to hit a rhythm section really, really well. But you know, you have the, you can roll the first jump and then jump a double or whatever, or you can try to double or triple in. Uh, for example, the the jump off well never mind well we cut to a different thing here here we actually get a full lap hitting the the big line through the the two rhythm sections back to back here but a bunch of mods now one thing i want to talk about there was a crf 450 and a kx 450 mod but i don't know if it's the way i have my game or, or my setup or what but i tried those bikes and they're a bit weird they look great but like they don't have any power when I use them. You know, I'll shift and then the bike is just like lugging around. It's like, no matter what, the bike doesn't have any any power. I don't know if anybody else is having that problem, but yeah, I was gonna use the CRF450 or the KX450 for this video because this is the first mod we've ever done for the game and it just didn't work. I mean, it looks great, this lap was also a bit sketchy. We did almost go over some of those berms, but yeah, it works. It looks great, but just no power. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll have to look into it a bit more. I mean, this was, I, we haven't been too aggressive on trying to show you some of the, the mods and the new content for the game, for this game that comes out. And, you know, when an update comes out, I'm usually like a week or two behind and I feel bad. I want to show it to you early. I want to you know, I want this game to do well because I feel like the developers really care about it. They're being really aggressive with their updates and trying to listen to the feedback of the community and making fixes and changes and, and whatnot. So I support the company, the studio that is making this game, and I want you guys to try it. Now, I don't believe, I think it is still early access for like 25 bucks, but... I don't believe it is on console. I would love to see it go to console for you guys. I mean, maybe you wouldn't have the mods, but the game is awesome even without the mods. I mean, you don't need the mods to make the game great. I'm just showing you some because this is awesome. Now, also, I am not familiar with the Deegan compound, really. Not really. I mean, a, a little bit, but not really. So I don't know how accurate this is. I trust that it is accurate because of... I just do, and even if it isn't, even if it isn't missing a few things or isn't perfect, it's so fun, I don't have a complaint. Now, one thing I didn't show you is there is a freestyle area kind of with two jumps, but that was really difficult. Um, the jump was really squishy. It kind of absorbed you, and I couldn't hit it right, so I didn't really show you, but to the right of us here is where that would be. But overall, really good. I mean, I don't have too many complaints. The detail's fine. I. I mean, it could probably use a few details to it, but I don't really care about that stuff. The main part or main point is that the track was done really, really well. And they did, or the tracks, I guess, both tracks were done really well and, and what. I mean, the trees look a bit weird, but for the most part, no, there, there really is no complaint from me about that. But yeah, that I guess that's all I really have to say. 2023 was... Uh, or is here the first video of the year i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you give this game a chance i hope you you know if you have a pc try it out i don't know what the recommendations are for the stuff you need to run it but probably isn't too bad and the mod community is getting bigger more stuff's coming out and it just it's really good it's really good stuff in this game i want to see it succeed and make its way to console assuming it's not there so you console guys can try it because I really personally believe more people play dirt bike games on console. I know there's tons of people, I'm not saying there's not tons of people on PC because I know there's tons and tons of people that play MX bikes and MX sim, but you know, like thinking back to does our track suck, there was so many more comments for console than PC and probably because PC people have access to 
uh, MX bikes, MX sim, reflex with mods, and maybe they're not even playing the milestone games, but yeah, really good stuff. I hope 2023 is good for you guys. Hopefully it's a good year for the channel. Thank you for the support. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. And until the next video, take it easy.